Hi everyone. I'm outside right now because it's a nice day. I wanted to take a minute to share with you my new paper shredder. Here's a photo of it. My last one wore out about a week and a half ago. When I bought it two years ago, I almost immediately began regretting it because of the motion of having to lean forward to feed the papers into it. It really hurts me quite bad in my hip joints. What I've purchased this time around is made for an office. It's got more height than a residential one. The insides, the guts, the motor, the gears, and the metal that grinds up the paper is a lot more robust than a residential paper shredder. You still have to oil it, but it's not going to wear out near as quick. So I wanted to suggest that you think about how the logistics of how you do things in your life. So that is the leaning, the reaching, what's easy for you to reach up high, what's needed maybe a waist level or around your knees. And you start organizing your home in sort of in a premium layout. So it's the same idea as when you go to the grocery store and the major brands are within easy reach. You want to get your key items that you need for functioning in day-to-day -day life where it's easy for you to reach and can make your life a little bit easier. And I've said about this before of making the little pieces work so the bigger picture in your life gets easier for you to live out. So for me, having a paper shredder where I can easily reach down to and get rid of what I'm not needing now is very helpful. There's two other things I want to mention. The first is that I've started using e-bills. So that is having companies send me an email when my bill's ready, downloading it and keeping it on my computer. And the second part of this is scanning what comes through the mail. So all the paperwork for my disability pension comes through the mail. I've got what's called a personal cloud or the technical name is a network storage device. It's an NAS acronym that all my scan bills download onto each night automatically. I've got it set up in my computer to copy the new files over and also what's changed over. That's so that if the hard drive suddenly dies, I don't lose everything, and I do mean everything. One of the practical parts of why you may want to consider doing this is because of digital photography. And that is specifically if you're raising a child or for your own special memories that you have a backup hard drive where you copy your files onto. It doesn't have to be as fancy as I've done. You could choose a USB one that just plugs in and you copy the files yourself. I've automated it because of how much I use my computer and how essential a computer is to my day-to-day -day life. It's something for you to think over. You're probably looking at $200 for a decent model. And if you do it, it's a really good investment for the long term. I think that the memories that are there, especially when you've had a special day with your family or friends, being able to look at those pictures to pick up your morale when you're going through a really bad day with whatever's wrong with your body, that you can take care of yourself and enjoy living your life. I hope you're doing good today. Thanks for this time together. Bye for now.